Hello there, this is Johnny Newphead here. It's been a while since I've recorded a gaming room tour video and I think it's about time I've updated you. I haven't been buying a lot lately due to being busy with work and there hasn't been a lot out there. But here's an update to keep you up to date. Starting off on the windowsill, of all places, uh, is my original Dreamcast, which I've recently taken out of action because I've bought a new one and it works a whole lot better than this one. And here we have a Valentine's card which I got in November from the Dead or Alive promotion team. Here's a copy of uh, Skyward Sword which I picked up recently for only £10. It's a special orchestra CD edition which I think is the only edition we had over here. Moving along we have Bowser in his Paper Mario form. In here we have Mario Lollipop which came all the way from Los Angeles, California and what he's sitting in is an Easter Egg bucket from this year's Easter Egg promotion. We also have one from last year which features a 3D Mario but I prefer this 2D Mario one here. Here's the Paper Mario, Paper Mario, or the Paper Mario from Paper Mario, whichever way you want to say it. And this here, we have click-ons, which are basically PES dispensers, but in the shape of a PlayStation Move controller. As you can see, I've got one of each colour, the green, blue, magenta, and yellow. And up here, above the cable box, is a mascot or a plush toy of the Olympics mascot Mandeville from last year's Olympics here in the UK which I picked up for 50p. Moving along I've got a poster here the history of multi-format gaming lots and lots of consoles here some I've owned some I've wanted to own but never got round to goes all the way from the Magnavox Odyssey down to the iPad. It's quite a transition there. Here we have a Screw Attack poster, which I picked up at SGC 2009. Unfortunately, it's a bit crumpled because it's been in my garage for a few years. And unfortunately, some rats have been eating at it. Anyway, moving along. Down here, we have a map of Skyrim, which was in the box of the Xbox 360 edition. Yep, we have a History of Mario poster all the way from when it was just Jumpman in Donkey Kong going down to all the way to when he was in Super Mario Galaxy 2 which he's riding Yoshi there and as you can see here we have the History of Sonic from his first game on the Mega Drive or some people call the Genesis back in 1991 all the way down to Sonic Generations where it has the Monday Sonic and the old school Sonic together. So I can't show the whole poster of this but it is pretty good. It's the history of the Nintendo handhelds from the Game & Watch to the Game Boy to the Game Boy Advance to the DS to the 3DS and the Bun Spongebob GBA. And here we have some promotional items for the new Super Mario Bros which was on the Wii. We got a sticker set which was from Club Nintendo and some fridge magnets from Nintendo's own magazine. Just below that we have a Tatsunoko vs Capcom poster which was a really really good fighter for the Wii, possibly the best fighter on the Wii. Right here we have some Mario Easter eggs from 2012 and 2013. I had collected them all but due to them being in the sun, some of them had melted and has to be thrown away. And just below that, we've got a Mario's 25th anniversary standee, which I bought off of eBay, standing up five foot tall. In fact, I'll show you more a poster that came with it, which shows off all the games that are featured on this standee. Here in this corner, we have Mario in his, all his costumes over the years. And unfortunately, Mario is stuck in his underwear right there. 
Below that, we have a Duke Nukem Forever poster, which is in 3D, hence the 3D glasses there. And moving over here, we have something from my first review, the, the Wii click-ons, where you just press the B button and sweet shoot out of them. And here's a lovely Mario mouse map. Right here, we have a poster of the 3DS AR card, which is 50 times bigger than the card itself. And here's some more click items, which are Nintendo related. This time it's from Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. Moving on, we have some keychains. We've got Yoshi there, Princess Peach, Donkey Kong, Mario and Luigi. And the last one down here, going past Peach again, is Toad. We've also got some bubbles which uh, were for supposed to be for party packs, but I've bought them because they're a bit of a collector's item. Here we have some lip balms. We've got Mario here, Yoshi and Peach. Mario one here is Cherry Cola. We go down here, we got watermelon for Yoshi, and down here for Peach, we have Peach Float. If you zoom out here, we have a poster which was the same as the Mario standee that I showed you earlier, which features Super Mario Galaxy 2, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario Kart Wii, Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story, New Super Mario Bros., and Mario Kart DS. As you can tell, this was before the 3DS came out, so it didn't have the modern games. Just below that, we have some Mario figurines. Starting off with Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Bullet Bill, Luigi again. Some Yoshis, which blue, yellow and pink. A Paragumba and a bob -on. Mario again. We got Daisy here, we got the Shy Guy, Lakautu, Yoshi, Toad, Dixie Kong, I don't know why Dixie Kong's there, but there's Dixie Kong, a Koopa Trooper, Fire Mario, Donkey Kong, Princess Peach. I haven't got much space for anything else down here. It's a bit dark. Uh, some Mario Kart DS um, remote control cars. We got Mario, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi there. It's a bit dark. Up here on the top shelf, we have some various collectibles and a DS light box. Got a Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks uh, tin box, which Contains the game and a no a link figurine. We got the Mario Kart Wii box, which has the uh, steering wheel. Right here, we got the Nintendo Famicom or Super Famicom controller for the Wii, which was only distributed in uh, Club Nintendo in Japan. We have an unopened. DS case which is in the shape of Mario's uniform. Right here we got a Fallout 3 tin box which I don't intend to open but I have opened just to play the game. Some Mario New Super Mario Brothers Wii stickers. A Grand Theft Auto 4 special edition box set which contains a tin box which again uh, is still in there but I won't open it for the camera because It'll take a bit of effort. And here we have a 25th anniversary edition of Super Mario All-Stars for the Wii. And the tin box for New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which was only available at game at the time. And above that, we have Bowser, but also some night viewing goggles from the Prestige edition of Modern Warfare 2. I bought two of these. And they do work, however, they take five 
AA batteries, which is a odd number, and batteries are usually sold in even numbers. And, well, I don't really need to use them really. Along here are various wristbands which are collected at expos and conventions over the years. The Eurogamer Expo, the MCM Expo, and among others, there's another couple down here. And some lanyards which I've been collecting over the years. Angry Birds, Xbox 360, NES, which leads down to some various bits and pieces, including both my SGC badges from 2009 2010 over in Dallas. Hoping to go in 2014, saving up already. Here we have Mario. Mario figurine, which does have its own stand where it looks like he's flying because it's promoting Super Mario Galaxy, but I've never taken it out of its box. We have a Sean D Saints Row 3 figurine or a bobblehead. Ready? There we are. And um, we got some trophies, all promoting Super Mario Brothers Wii again. These are the gold editions. And just below here we've got the silver editions as well. All along here we have some gashapons and some other collectibles. Most notably the one up, uh, not one up mushroom, uh, Super Mushroom here from Super Mario Brothers series. All these are from the Super Mario Galaxy collectible gashapons. All along here, moving into the enemies here, and these three remotes here are actually projectors. I would try and see if they still work, they should do because I've kept the battery cover on them, but I haven't got any blank balls to test them on, so you'll just have to take my word for it for here. Oh, and a one up mushroom here. Also, I have a keychain which has some various Mario items going all the way down and ending up where it's getting very dark the DS here we have some more Mario collectibles here we have some Super Mario Galaxy toys above that we have some Mario bubble gums in a special collector's barrel some Mario sweets some more up there as well. Across the top here we have some Mario Brothers Pepsi can lids which came from Australia. I've got these 99p each off of eBay. And what I have here is a Mario chess set which was £50 but I got for £15 from the MCM Expo due to a seller wanting to sell off all his stock on a Sunday night so popped up at the last opportunity and bought it. Also when I was in America I had bought the Monopoly of the Super Mario Brothers. This is the 2010 edition of which there was a one other edition which I'll come to in a minute. Just below that we have some Super Mario Galaxy 2 yo-yos, a bob -omb, a Mario head uh, mint tin can't remember what was inside it there. Some Mario Pez dispensers. Some Mario lollipops which came from Japan. Some New Super Mario Brothers bandages or plasters as we call them in the UK. And they're just sitting on top of a Nintendo controller which has mints inside. The Zelda shield, a Hyrulean shield. Wii Remote which has some chewing gums inside some more sweets from Japan not sure what's inside them but they are sweets I can assure you the mushrooms, we've got the power up mushroom one up mushroom and a blue mushroom which I don't remember from Mario but all of them have various flavours inside and the jump, uh, star man 
which also has some more sweets in and some more gummies which feature Mario and yeah there's two packs there as mentioned earlier here is the other Mario Monopoly this was pre 2010 very collectible and this shelf is basically all plush toys got the Koopa there there's Diddy Kong in the background a Goomba a Mario there some Mario cards a wristband a Mario Kart uh, DS toys this Mario here is actually a USB stick which is unoriginal but uh, not an original, uh, unofficial, that's the word, and only contains one gig of memory, so I don't really use it. Some new Super Mario Brothers Wii cards, still in their packet. Boo Plush, Toad as a casino, oh, what's the word? Um, I want to say concierge, but that's hotel people, but you know who I mean as well as some more Mario plushes and this one here and these two items this one's from 1993 which was a Happy Meal toy which I I think was actually my first ever Mario collectible which just goes to show you have been a fan for a long long time and underneath it is some trading cards from the Super Mario Brothers movie which excuse me I own on DVD and it's not so good right here we have another keychain with some Mario items on it I never actually had these on a keychain at all mainly because they're way too long that ended up the Yoshi egg down the bottom there. Where were we? Oh, uh, some more Gashapons. Some from various Mario games. All across there. Down here, we've got the Fable 3 Collector's Edition. And some Glow in the Dark Butter Scotch Soda, which is very unusual. Just had to refocus there since we was going out of focus. Here we have a box, the ultra rare box rather, of Super Meat Boy, which is a really really good uh, PC game. I highly recommend it. A chocolate bar called Plop. Yeah, it came from Sweden, so obviously Plop means something different over there. A Japanese can of Mountain Dew, as well as a few other drinks here. We got. Duff, Duff Energy Drink there we are. and Dublin Dr Pepper which is usually only sold in Dublin in Texas as well as Jolt which is a very very high powered caffeine based drink got some more energy drinks in the background there as well as Lucky Cider and some Pocky because well everyone likes a treat now and again okay we have here a well this was the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D uh, CD giveaway thankfully I was one of the first I think 30,000 people to register, register the copy on Club Nintendo so they sent that to me in the post as well as some Legend of Zelda badges here and some more uh, some Pac-Man bits and pieces basically they're sweets with mints inside Duff Beer Mints not sure how they taste but it's Simpsons related so I like it a bottle of Coca-Cola which was handed out at uh, the Olympic torch relay by Coca-Cola so that's why I haven't opened it and it's collectible. Right here we have a Tamagotchi which hasn't been opened. Not sure why I haven't opened it yet but uh, I think it's uh, 
risen in value on eBay. One thing I forgot to show you is my Legend of Zelda Master Sword, which I have never taken out of my room because it would be too dangerous and I can't take it to conventions anyway because it is too dangerous. Okay, right here we have Mario riding Yoshi in my Mario Brothers mug, which was from Easter 1990, I believe, which was very collectible, but uh, very rare to get hold of these days, well, especially unbroken as well. Here we have a Gameworks card, which is used for the arcades, for those who don't know. Basically, instead of putting money in the machine, you pay someone to top up the card and you can play with the money there. Here's the ticket for the MTM Expo, which was the first time I attended it, back in 2009. There's a Sega World uh, badge, which I can't remember the year it came about, but uh, it was at the Trocadero, which was eventually became Funland, which is now shut down, which is a big shame because it was a really good arcade in the middle of London. Here we have a bobblehead from, there we are, back in focus, uh, Fallout 3, which does do a lot better at bobbling his head than Sean D from Saint Row, Saints Row 3. It is a Mario plush that I won from a fairground stall, I think it was, yeah, um, back in 2010. It's nothing really that special and the mug from this year's Easter promotion. Have a bob on there. Here we have Duke Nukem Advance and Super Mario Brothers for the GBA. Also some little bits and pieces on my desk are my headphones, some Twizzlers, Angry Birds, Lollipops, a Simon's Cat uh, coaster, which is signed by Simon, Simon Tufeld or two field rather, uh, who created Simon's Cat, which is a really funny YouTube series. I know not a lot of people like cats, and I know a few people that do like cats. Just take a look at his channel, and uh, it is a good laugh. Moving along, we have Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition and Super Street Fighter 2 for Mega Drive and Genesis. Right here we have my collection of 360 controllers. We've got the Fable 3 edition, the white one, and the black one with the keyboard attachment, which I don't have much use for nowadays since no one attached to me over MSN. And a fan of mine, which is a fan. That was a joke, by the way. Oh, and the 2012 Easter Egg Cup with Super Mario Land for the Game Boy in it. Okay, here we have Link, or Toon Link, with a rather comical Burger King crown on top of his head. And what we have here is a ticket for Sympathy of the Goddesses, uh, which I attended a couple of years ago. Here we have Pink Link, which only cost me £4 because someone ripped a hole with the side at the MCM Expo and they wanted to sell it cheap. Here we have a figurine of uh, Chun Li, which was free because I think it was Game Station somewhere or the other were throwing them out, so I picked up one. We have a Bee Mario and a Paragumba. Just in case you're wondering, this is my 32 inch TV, which I don't really use anymore. Here we have Peter Molyneux's signed copy of Fable 2. And moving out a bit, we have me, yeah that's me, as Wreck-It Ralph, alongside my friend Rain, who's Fix-It Felix. And that's the sign which I'm holding. If you haven't seen Wreck-It Ralph, go watch it now. Here we have a Mario backpack, which can only just about hold the DS and which goes in the back of his head. Right here we have two baseballs for my nails out in Dallas, both for the Texas Rangers. 
Got some Mario Gashapons here, which I did intend to sell but never got round to. But if someone wants one, leave a comment and I'll send them out to you. Okay, above here we have Simpsons Monopoly, which I'm starting to get a bit of a Monopoly collection going on. Hopefully the next one I'll be getting will be the Adventure Time one. Hopefully I can pick that up at the MCM Expo in October. Uh, moving along, we have another box of the Mario 25th Anniversary. And along here we have a t-shirt for it. Got some Texas Longhorns hat there. Pac-Man plush. And a Fire Mario plush. Just along here are just a few DVDs I've picked up over the years. Some anime, some screw attack, some ABGN, uh, some Olympics, some Borat, some Juno, some Naked Gun, some Scarface, and a few books. The I Can Has Cheeseburger book. I can no, three of the Legend of Zelda manga books, which I will get round to reading one day. Hunger Games on Blu ray and the Hunger Games trilogy, all on paperback. Oh, and the uh, Fable 3 limited edition guide. Just below that, just in case you're wondering what the green thing was, it's just Yoshi in a backpack form. And just down here, we have a poster for New Super Mario Brothers. Now that we've got all the Mario stuff out of the way, here's some Sonic bits and pieces. Right here we have a Sonic Plus, which uh, I've owned since 1992. Unfortunately his uh, foot's been chewed off by a dog, which I wasn't too happy about, but it's mainly still in one piece. And very much one of my favourite plushes out of all the collection I have. We have a play ball here. A Sonic the Hedgehog uh, money bin, uh, money bin, money jar. We have some VMUs for the Dreamcast and the controller. Just so I can play that. Here we have some Sonic collectibles. We have Series 1 of the 3 inch figurines, which features Knuckles, Sonic, and Tails. Also, Series 2. Which features Amy Rose, Super Sonic, and Metal Sonic. Right here we have the 1992 Sonic the Hedgehog yearbook, which is in good condition up until the point where my five year old self had scrolled my name in it. So it's not so collectible, but it is in good condition. Here's a Gameworks hat, which I won at uh, the Grapevine Mills. Game works out in Dallas, Texas. Here we have a DS mood light, which I haven't got switched on at the moment. I think the battery's flat in it anyway. A Mario plush American football, which is quite soft and doesn't cause much damage, even though I haven't taken out its packet yet. Sonic yo yo and a Sonic whoopee cushion. Yes, a whoopee cushion. Anyway, we got some Mario. Uh, not Mario, Sonic collectibles here. It's a big statue for his 20th anniversary. You've got Classic Sonic here. Let's move along quite quickly to New School Sonic. And in the middle, they are looking at each other for Sonic Generations, which is the European only special edition for the PS3, which I shall open up later to show you what's inside. And above that, we have some Sonic slash Gameworks shot glasses and Sonic 3D chess, as well as some marshmallows and some stickers for his 20th anniversary. And here we go with consoles. Don't know why I started with the most recent first, but here it goes. That's my Wii with the Link uh, sticker set on the front here. And my Xbox 360, which is a core version, but uh, I have put my hard drive on top of it because this is my seventh Xbox 360. Next to that is my PS3. As you can see, it has four USB ports, which means it's the original 
60 gig model which is compatible with PS2 games which is rather good down here we have my new Dreamcast which works a heck of a lot uh, better than my other one and is only half as loud moving down we have some Super, uh, yeah, Super Nintendo games and my N64 controller get to them later and there's the box of my Mega Drive at games console but I haven't got that on me at the moment here we have my N64 with Perfect Dark inside I haven't played much of it but uh, it is a really good game it's a follow up to GoldenEye for those who didn't know here we are, the GameCube and a retro duo so I can play NES and SNES or Super Nintendo games as we call them over here uh, just by using the Super Nintendo controllers unfortunately I haven't got Super Nin any Super Nintendo controllers other than my Famicom controller for my Wii which doesn't work for this but I have essentially got uh, two consoles in one which are both region free which is good and just to finish it all off we have Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite and I cannot wait for the DLC to come out next and thus concludes the tour of my gaming room I hope you enjoyed the little tour um, if you have any questions about anything that's in this room please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you and good night